Coding made easy. So what's up everybody and welcome to your the second part of creating the window and hopefully we will get a window shown by the end of this tutorial. Um, so by the end of this tutorial we finished four steps. We set up our window class, we registered the class, or we created um, we created the window and we checked to, this to see if there was any errors when we created the window. So we created a window, but so what? Uh, um, we just created a window, but we haven't done anything with this window. So now we have to go to step five. So step five, we're going to call the show window method. And sh the show window method, uh, it takes two parent, uh, it takes two parameters, and uh, we have the window handle, which is the um, handle to the window. Uh, which we created right here and we have the uh, the show CMD so like I showed you before this is just going to give the information about what happens actually when we show the window is it going to be displayed maximized is it going to be displayed minimized is it going to have certain features so we're going to pass in the, the default feature of the program and get the handle to the actual window so we can show it so now we've shown the window but now for step six, I know you guys love these steps because these steps are sh short. Um, and we're gonna make a call to update window. And I'm just gonna say update that window handle. So it's just gonna say show it and we're gonna update it. So it's just gonna bring it to the front of the screen so we can actually see the window. Um, so now to step seven and step eight. So these are the longer steps and I hope it doesn't confuse you. I'm going to try to explain it as in depth as I can. So we have our message class and we're gonna call this message. So MSG stands for message. It's not the thing that's in food. It's message. Anyways, um, so um, I don't know if you've ever worked with something that has events such as like Allegro or SFML or anything that has an event system but the way Windows works it works with a message system so every single time you make a click if you touch them on the keyboard whether you move a window everything is an event that occurs on the window and when an event event occurs it sends a, what is called a message and it sends a message into our message loop and um, our message gets processed and based on our certain message we can tell the window to do certain things and so on and so forth or we can tell our game or our application or anything to do some depending on the message so say for example the message detected our left click so if we click on the left um, the left button on the mouse it says okay you clicked the left button or something like that you can do certain things based on certain messages so we've created the message and what we have to do is make a call to secure zero memory. Now, to the people that used to do um, Windows programming on older um, computers or an older version of Windows, you could use zero memory. But as you can see, this is secure. So it must be secure. Simple enough. So it is a more advanced version of secure, uh, um, secure zero memory. And we just need to get the message, and we're going to get the size of a message type. So what is this doing? Basically, this is going to this is saying we're going to take the message variable, we're getting the size of what a message actually is, and we're going to set all the default values to zero. So just in case, so it doesn't set any random values or any um, send any random messages. It's going to set all the values to zero, so um, everything will be fine. Um, so what we're going to do is we're just going to make an int called uh, return value. And um, we are going, and we're just going to set this to zero, sorry. And we're going to make a while loop. So we're going to say while uh, return value is equal to get message. Not double equal, it's just one equal. Um, let me just scroll down here. So get message and we'll take a reference to the message, um, the handle to the window, we can set it to zero, um, we can set this and we can set that. So we can set the minimum message, um, the filter, uh, a minimum filter and a maximum filter. We don't really have to worry about that. So we're going to say if it's not equal to zero. So if we actually have, um, 
Um, so basically, it's gonna set uh, the the double equal sign in an in a loop or or an if statement means a comparison. The single equal means a, an assignment. So what's gonna happen? It's gonna call get message. If there actually is a um, if there is a message, then our return value is gonna get a value that's that's larger than zero. And so it's gonna say, okay, if this is not equal to zero. Um, then we, we have some messages so let's process it if it is equal to zero that means we have no more messages to process so let's just not process it anymore so uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna say okay if return value is equal to negative one then we just want to um, display a negative uh, uh, like a error so if it's set to negative one, we have a error message, and we'll just display something within our window handle. Now, why are we why are we putting the message box in our window handle here, but we have we don't have it right? We don't have anything here. Well, when we create a window hot handle right here, if there's an error, if an error has happened, then we don't actually have a window. So that's why we set it to null. But if this succeeds, then we're gonna actually create a window. And if a message error happens, that means we still have a window and so we can display the message box within the window. And that's why we can pass in the window handle right there. So um, the text that we're going to put, um, we'll just say get message failed. And we'll just say error message. And we'll just put zero in there. Okay, and you can just put break to exit, and then we'll just exit the application. So um, if all if all is fine and dandy with that, then we're going to say translate message, um, and we're gonna get dispatch dispatch message. So I can go really in depth into what the translate and dispatch basically does, but Basically, um, basically, long story short, it, it it translates your messages and sends off your messages, and uh, it translates it into a way that Windows can actually understand it, and then it executes what it needs to do with the certain messages. Like it, it um, I can go really in depth into it. I really don't, so I hope I don't confuse you guys. But if you want to know more about translate and dispatch match, dispatch match. <gasps> Uh, I can't even speak. It's like twelve thirty. Okay, dispatch message. Yep. Um. So if you want to know about those two, then um, if you guys want any links, I can refer you to some links, and or you can just search on Google. So that's it. So um. Oh, sorry. And then we we're gonna say a return. We're gonna return an integer, and we're gonna return message dot wparam. Now wparam will just let us know um. You can say return zero, or return whatever, but um, that will give us the return value of the the message, uh, basically. Um, so now, last but not least, we have to make this window proc uh, procedure. So when we create a window, a window always calls this uh, Windows procedure or this uh, this Windows function that it always refers to that it gets its messages from. So it automatically calls it when we display our pointer to our function right there. But we actually did not create it. So now let's create it. So we we're gonna say L result callback uh, wind proc. And in the parentheses, we're gonna have a handle to the window. We are going to have a unsigned integer called our message. We are going to have a W param. And the double param, param and L param are used for um, to get like certain things like if the left mouse was clicked or or certain things or and we'll look into all that stuff later. But they used to get certain additional parameters that we might need, right? So uh, I don't think I need to go into depth um, about these because as we mentioned before, they're just uh, defines and type devs. So as you can see, the Win API define. Um, it's the same as a callback because now they have the same functionality. But the reason why you should call this callback instead of Win API is if in the newer version of Windows or something they decide to change what callback actually does or what Win API does, you don't want it to ruin your code. So this is uh, backwards compatible code. So keep it this way. 
So inside here, we're going to make a switch statement and we're going to pass the message in there. And this is where we actually process what happens with our messages. So we have WM, which stands for Windows message. So if a Windows message uh, gets sent, so if somebody uh, goes to close a window, we're going to call destroy, destroy window. And we need the handle to the window. So like that, we'll put break. So if they say WM destroy, then we're going to post a quit message and what post quit message basically does is that it says okay um it sends a message basically letting the program know it should quit and that is the exit code or the return value and that's the return value that i believe that will be returned by w param i'm not exactly sure i do not remember don't quote me on that um but i can search it up if you guys want and then default parameter, we're going to return the default window procedure. So if no, um, we our messages are going to be passed into the Windows procedure, right? But we, um, what happens if it doesn't? If if it's not one of these messages, uh, Windows has a way of disposing it or handling a message that has not been used. And so all we will have to do is just pass in the default parameters and we're good. Okay. And um, so that is it for um, the window procedure. Um, so basically how this is going to work. We um, create our, we set up our Windows class, we register it. We create our window, we check to see if it actually was created or not, which is a vital part of computer programming, error checking. We show the window, we update it so it actually sh displays it. We create our message, um, set all the values to zero, and then we actually loop through our messages and we check if there's any errors. If there's no errors, we translate and dispatch the message. And then um, we will, um, the message will be sent to the Windows procedure and then if they click a if they click the close button or anything gets destroyed then it will um, it will close the window and everything will be fine so now let's actually see if we have any errors in our code so hopefully we have no errors in our code and voila something was shown quickly and then it just closed and it shouldn't have closed uh, like that because I didn't make an error the uh, the return value, I don't know why I put it in there, it should be outside here. So when the program is done, it posts the actual quit message. So when we run this, the window should stay open this time. Yep, and as you can see, the window is open, has a title coding made easy, the default icon right here, so the small icon. Um, you can see, uh, you can like resize it and so on and so forth. And when you click the X button, it posts a quick message and it closes. So that's it for this tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe, and bye for now.